Uh, so, how you doing, Gail? Uh, you and I have been talking for 25 minutes. So we're going to try and revamp some of our, we've been rehearsing this now. So, let's get it right. <laughs> uh, Ready so, and all, action. Yes, there we go. Uh, first of all, so let us know how you are doing. You're in New York, the epicenter of COVID-19 in the world now. So I know. So make sure that you're safe. And, and, and uh, how are you doing? What's life like for you these days? Oh, well, hi, Hope family. Um, I'm in Buffalo, New York, which actually is about a six and a half hour drive from New York City. So uh, it's a big state. But yeah, we have been on the news quite a lot lately. In Buffalo, um, there have been many cases of uh, COVID-19, but thankfully uh, we're coping. Everybody's been pretty good in following the um, recommendations about face masks outside. I was telling Pastor David that um, I'm so jealous of you guys in South Southern California because we had snow flurries here last week and it's been really cold and gray. So looking forward to some sunshine coming our way soon. Well, you know, it hasn't been all sunshine. You know, last week it was in the 60s here. So oh, 60s. we totally get it, what you're going you, Oh, you poor people. <laughs> um, so I know a lot of the ministry that you do is super, super high touch, super visiting, super FaceTime with people, and you can't do any of that right now. So what are you doing to keep yourself busy? Oh, uh, it's killing me. So um, surprisingly, though, um, I'll, tell, I'll talk about my Muslim friends in a minute, but with our Lilius Trotter Center work, you know, that's the uh, study center that we have. And we have partners all around the world, seminaries and colleges and ministries where we teach. So when this all kicked off in mid-March, uh, hey, missionaries around the world were stuck at home just as we were. So we thought, how could we um, present our content, some of our courses on Islam and Muslim ministry, how could we present that to missionaries stuck at home? So we did a lot of scrambling and I've actually been busier than ever with a lot of administration and our website, um, liestrottercenter.org. You can go there and see what we're all about. But we do some live Zoom sessions. I just finished one earlier today oh, wow. and missionaries from uh, Turkey and Nigeria and Kenya and folks in Canada. So uh, just talking about whatever they want to talk about in terms of Muslim ministry. Uh, oh, so that's been kind of fun. But it is killing me not to be in the homes of my Muslim friends because that's how I spend the majority of my time, uh, just visiting them, teaching English classes. Uh, I do chaplaincy work at a local health center, and it's mostly Bangladeshi and Somali refugees, and I'm not able to be there. So it's really killing me. Yeah, uh, wow. Well, uh, and so, you know, this is a weird time for us all, and uh, uh, just... What do you think, what do you, what's God been teaching you in these days? Uh, yeah, well, I, um, I just did our little devotional for our church uh, last weekend. Uh, Buffalo Vineyard Church is my home here, and I, I spoke from Ecclesiastes, and uh, it was interesting for me to see that Solomon was looking for meaning in life, and he talked about trying to find meaning in dinner parties, and concerts, and activities, and projects, and and he found that everything was meaningless. He just came to the conclusion that it was, you know, just like the wind that blows away. Everything is meaningless. Uh, but then he said, then he talks about there's a time and a season for everything. And I don't know why God is allowing us to go through this season. I have no clue as to why um, this virus is affecting the whole world as it is. But I think the message that I'm learning is that without God at the center, life will feel meaningless because when everything's stripped away from us, what do we have left? So my encouragement to the people that I'm around and some of the young women that I mentor is just to press into Jesus, put him at the center, figure out ways to, to love the people in your household and in your neighborhood. Um, and yeah, just kind of trust that God knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Well, thanks so much, Gail. We're bummed you were supposed to be with us. These, we were, I know. You were going to meet us with our camping trip last I know. weekend. And then I'm especially bummed because you were going to be speaking for me this weekend. I know. Sorry and, about that. Uh, so but we'll, I, we'll, uh, we'll catch you hopefully after all this is done and over. And, you bet. Uh, I'll reschedule that. Delta refunded all of my miles and all of the price. So that was no problem. So I'll reschedule yeah. as soon as I can. I'll get out there. Very cool. Well, uh, good to see you. Good to chat with you. Thanks for continuing to serve God and represent us uh, over there and the work that you do. And we're happy to be a part of it. And just may God continue to bless and direct you in these days.
much, whole family. Thanks, Pastor David. I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Take care, everybody.